All right, start with math. Easy solution to discuss multiplication by hand. Look in depth in this. I uh, find it important because uh, in case you don't have a calculator, you need to calculate. It's so fairly complex numbers. It's pretty useful to know this. So basically, if you have something, let's say like twelve thirty one times it by let's say um, thirteen point eight. Basically, a quick way to multiply this. What I learned from high school and whatnot. Uh, you probably have two, and or or a high school elementary or whatnot. So basically, you would just put this like this: twelve thirty-one times this one. You you would line up the uh, decimal place. You got to line it up, and then you would try to make the same number of uh, decimal places here. So we would just add a zero to anywhere that's a little short. So we're gonna add it here, and then when we multiply, we actually just go from we multiply from the rightmost digit to multiply by every single one here. Except if it's zero. If it's zero, everything is zero, so we just ignore it. And then for the next ones, we always have to add a zero and then start from here, times this by this. So we're going to have here 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So we added 4. Added 2 here. We have to uh, increment up there. So 8 times 2 is 16 plus 2 is 18. So we're going to put a 1 there. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And then here we're gonna have a, we have to add a zero for every single time. So now this is the second one. We add a zero, it's two zeros, and then we go from the three. So we add three times one is three. Three times three is nine. Three times two is six. Three times one is three. Then then for this uh, the third one, we just put a zero for each corresponding uh, digit here. So basically, there's three here. Put three here, zeros. And again, it's going to be a, like a little slope there, so 0, 2, and then 3. So basically, now we're going to do the 1s again. We're going to times it by all that. So we're going to have 1, 3, 2, 1 times by every single 1. Then we just add these up. You can see my addition subtraction video. We're going to have a 0 here, an 8 here. This is going to be 7. This one here is going to be 18. When we put a 1 here. This is 1. This is 10 plus 6 plus 3 is 19. Put a 1 here, and then we put... Uh, we have to increment 1 here. This is 19, so that's 6. And now we have 1. So our, our final answer, this one, since there's two decimal places, and this one has two decimal places, we have to multiply together, and this is going to be 4. And then this is going to be 4. To, uh, we, we put the decimal place on the 4th spot, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So if this was 3 and 3, this would be 6. So basically, I'll show you why this is all all correct here. So this is, this is the right answer. It should be. I'll check the calculator. And so if you put in a calculator, we get 12.31 times it by 13.8, and that equals 169.878, or 169.8780 there. So yeah, this is the correct answer. So basically, how do we get this? Well, I'll just uh, simplify this one in a different method here. So basically, we, we're gonna, I'll show you how to get all this and why it's four decimal places and whatnot. So we're going to rewrite this as, let's just write it, 12.31 times it by this one is 13.8 but then um, so now we want to basically get rid of the decimal places so we would here we would times it by a hundred divided by a hundred so we're not changing the value of it so give us one over one and and then here we can do the same thing actually but uh, yeah so we wanted to have the same common denominator so we just put add a zero here as well we're not changing anything times by a hundred divided by a hundred so we're gonna get 1 over 100 times 100 and then 100 times 1231 is just 1231 without decimal place without the decimal in, the, in between this one's gonna be 1380 and then here the, the, this uh, 100 times 100 is just be 100 squared which equals to well it's just gonna be 10,000 so then this is four zeros, and similarly here, four decimal places. Because we're going to get this number, whatever it is, times it by, which is this, without the decimal place, then divide it by 10,000 or four decimal places. So we move it over there. So that's where we get that from. Okay, so now if we can further simplify this one. So we're, we can have it like this, let's say. Uh, as, uh, so we're going to have one over 10,000. Uh, times it by this one here. We can actually break this down. We're going to actually have, let's say, 1231 times it by, and then we're going to break this down into, well, 1000 plus 300 plus 80. And then we were going to put, if this was another one, like 3, we would add a 3, but to, since there's nothing there, just a plus 0, 
we could add plus zero, it's going to be nothing there, it's going to cancel. So basically we're going to have something like this, and we could further expand this out, we're going to have 10,000 times the by, we're going to just multiply this into every single one. 1231 times 1,000 plus 1231 times 300 plus 1231 times 80 and then plus 1231, well 1231 times 0 is 0. So this is just 0, we just ignored now. So basically here, this is a 0 not a 6. So now here we can uh, start solving this one. This one right here, this one is just 1231, well times a thousand, just we just add, add, add three decimal places, and three zeros to it. So we're gonna actually have it right here. We're gonna have, let's say, well, one over 10,000. 10,000, that's a zero there. So this will be, well, 1231,000. We just add the number of zeros when we multiply by like something like that. And now we have to look at this one right here. And this one, we'll have to, I'll just show you, do this one separately, because so, we've simplified it, so now we just have to have uh, this times three, 300 here. So I'll just show you what I mean, I'll just drag it down over here. We'll do it here before this one. So we're going to have, let's say, 1231 times, well, this, uh, this is actually just 12 times, no, 1231 times three times 100. We'll just get the 100 out of there. So then this is going to be equal to 100 times it by... Uh, this one, we can, now we can expand this one. So we're going to have uh, 1,000 plus 200. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Plus 30 plus 1 times by 3. And then this one, uh, So just so that we can multiply this, just so you understand this one. And then this is going to be equal to, again, 100 times it by. Now we can uh, multiply the 3 inside of all this. So we're going to have 3,000. Just so we're dealing with multiplication of only just two digits. So now 3,000 plus 6,000, I mean 600, and then this one's plus 90, we're just multiplying it inside, plus 3. So now, yeah, you kind of understand what we what we did before, or you could actually, yeah, so we have this one, then we add them up. Because remember, you could also just write this as, as you could also just write this as, let's say, 1231. Then this is a hundred. There's then uh, yes, basically times it by three. This one is going to be equal to three, nine, six, and then one here. Oh, three here. So we could actually yeah just do this. Is, now you understand this method here. So now this one when we add this up, yeah, this is just going to be the same thing. It'd be one hundred times it by, well three. We just add these all up. Three, six, nine, three. And then this is going to be three zeros, going to be equal to, well, three, six, nine, three, zero, zero, two zeros. So we'll just add this here. Three, six, nine, three, zero, zero. So we, we've just kind of a little uh, proof of this method right here. And then if we look at this one, uh, 1231 times 80. Again, this one is just, we'll just write that down here. 1231 times 80. This one again, this one's just equal to, well, 1231 times 8 times 10. So we could just, this one, this part right here is just 1231 times 8. Exactly how we did this is the same thing. Times 8, this is going to be 8, this is going to be a 4 here. And the 4 is actually increment here, it's just 24. So this is 8 times 2 is 16 plus 2 is 18. And 1, this is 8. This is, so 8 times 8, this is 9. And then we add to add add the four uh, at the zero here. We're gonna have nine eight four eight zero. And similarly, if you were to break it down, just to get, the, I'll show you how this increments uh, works. This we're gonna have one thousand plus two hundred plus thirty plus one. Again, we're gonna times this by eight and then times by ten. This just equals to ten times again eight eight thousand here plus 1600 plus 240 plus one so we just multiply the eight inside and again this adds here so th this one is just equal to basically one uh, 1000 plus 600 so that's how we actually increment this one over here I mean this one over here 
And this one right here is just equal to 200 plus 40. So, so we put the 4 here, and then we put the 200 over here. And this is just, this is the same thing as, as there. And then if we write this down here, plus 98480. Yeah, and then this, this one is 0, so we're going to have it left with here. And then if you look at, then if you just use addition, subtraction stuff that I showed in my other video, you can see that one, it's pretty uh, useful. So basically when we look at this one, we have right here 98480, 98480, then we have 369300, that's, that's what we have there, 3, yeah, 369300, and 123000. And as you can see, the zeros increment here, there's 3, there's 2, there's 1. So now this is, yeah, then this is going to be equal to, well, this one will just be equal to when you add this all up one six nine what is this one eight seven eight eight seven eight divide this by well ten thousand and then we this one is going to be equal to one six nine point eight seven eight I mean uh, there's a zero right here my bad so one six nine eight seven eight so there's a zero right there so this is the final answer so yeah, this was just an uh, in-depth look at, at this, this multiplication method, which uses the addition. You'll see my other video on that. So this is pretty damn useful. Uh, yeah, actually, this came in really useful when I was doing my final exam when I, my calculator battery died and I had to do everything like this. Well, thanks for uh, watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.